this will be adding a sensor to an Ecobee thermostat. So step one is you come into your app and you select new up at the top and you tell it what, and we're gonna say sensor. So we've got either top choice being a smart sensor or a room sensor. Since this is the latest and greatest Ecobee, we got a smart sensor. So here you go, it's telling you kind of what you can do with it. So we're gonna say, let's get started. So in my case, I'm running on Android 10. So it does say, hey, it wants to access information. So we're gonna say allow, because we have to. So what we have to do is there is a tiny QR code on the tag that came with our thing. So there's the tag, and we're just gonna scan that really quick. All right, so we took a picture of it and it wants us to attach it to a specific thermostat. So in this case, this one is actually on my upstairs. So we're gonna say, nope, this is going to attach to the upstairs one. Uh, so we're gonna say, there we go, sensor meet the thermostat. We're gonna take out the little tag here. This little tag is both a QR code, but also the stop for the battery so that it's not sucking power. So we're just gonna do that right now. So little tag gone and there we go. So we're gonna give this a moment. Ecobee has found our smart sensor, next. So we're gonna name our smart sensor. So in this case, this one is actually going to go in my bedroom. Since we don't have other people's bedrooms, we're not gonna call it master bedroom or anything like that. We're just gonna say bedroom. But if we wanted to, we could give it a custom name, but we're just gonna say bedroom, save the name. So comfort settings are what times should this be used over the thermostat? So in this case, we're gonna say for sleeping, we wanna make sure that the temperature reading is for sleeping. You can always go back and change these. So here it's giving you kind of the best uh, practices. So around four feet, on a table or shelf, an open surface, away from exterior walls, windows and blah, 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 and away from drafts. So I have an idea where I'm gonna put this. It does come with a wall mount as well, but I'm gonna try and not use the wall mount right now. Uh, you could say wall mount the sensor and it would give you the instructions for that, but we're not gonna say that. So we're just gonna hit next. All right, systems are all go. You have a successfully added Ecobee. Your sensor may be unavailable for three minutes while it's syncing. So we'll say fine, that's good. We can add another device, or in this case, we're just gonna say done, and I will place this. Now you'll notice that there are two sensors listed for upstairs. So right now it's saying basement is 73 only because I've really been holding the sensor in my hand, but now you should be able to query the sensor and have it used for the smart away and everything. So that is setting up the Ecobee smart sensor.